Okay, so today we're going to be looking at making a normal map and making a normal map that actually makes sense. A normal map that would go across 3D Studio, Max, Maya, and a game engine. And uh, so in order to do that, you know, it has to have good variation of um, colors within a normal map. It has to make sense with the ray tracing. Ray tracing is uh, surface data that has to come off of the model uh, to calculate the actual displacement or calculation between uh, the highest and lowest of the mesh and um, the best way to do that is first output a displacement from ZBrush okay but first you have to have the understanding of how to make good UVs so I put together this little thing that you need uh, pretty soon I'll have to put together some kind of roadmap to all this with these little lessons so right here the vo.com slash channel slash house of blender has a lesson 11 and what this is, is a blender um, ZBrush combination of making good UVW maps or um, unwrapped UVs. And if you want the texture that gets burned with all the shadow information, it's under the VO channels quick ZBrush and look for texture baking one or two. Either one will work. Okay, so knowing all that, okay, now you can go on with the rest of this little video. Uh, you, you have to have the demo head. It has to have some kind of deformation on it, so I just kind of threw down some, oh, just cracks, crevices. You know, the standard drill when you're testing out normal maps. Okay, so what we do is back it all the way down after, after you put said items onto it. Okay, then we go over to plugin, export options. We're going to use a 32-bit map to produce this nice normal map. So make sure R32 is on or anyone others with these same settings. Okay, so Auto ADF, make sure that is on. I tested all the other ones, but Auto ADF really does work nice. Full range, full, make sure it's flipped, yes, 32-bit. Okay, close that out. Under the plugin, the second part of the plugin, which is going to launch any second now. Jeez. Okay, uh, sub mac, the pick size adjustment. So the right here, put that down to zero, so we're the map size. We don't want any adjustment. We want sub picks of four, and we want a map size of 2048. Just hit create all. And create that in any folder. So. I'm going to name it Displacement Exporter and hit save. I did this earlier to save time. Okay, and in the next little movie, I show you uh, the second step because it takes too long to be in one video.